Whether you're listening to some tunes or watching your favorite shows, sound can be a huge component of your enjoyment. That's why you should invest in a good sound system. Well, in this video, we break down the top 5 best soundbars on the market this year based on price versus performance and situations they will be used in. We'll be taking a look at products in every budget range, so regardless of whether you've got a few bucks to spare and want the best value, or are looking for the best of the best, we'll have an option for you. So if you're interested in finding out which soundbar will be best for you, stay tuned. As always, all the links to all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description down below. We also update the description down below with links to find the best price on each product. So for the most up-to-date information along with updated prices, be sure to check out the description. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. Fifth on our list is Samsung WH-MS650-ZA. To start with, let's talk about the dimensions of this product. The speaker is almost 42 inches wide, and just over 3 inches high and 5 inches deep. This is the familiar shape soundbars are famous for. After all, one of the big selling points of these speakers is that you don't have to deal with more than one speaker. However, due to its bulkier size, this device weighs over 13 pounds. Of course, you'll be able to keep it on the TV table or on the floor. You could even hang it on the wall using the wall mount that comes with the soundbar. The Samsung soundbar contains 9 speakers with dedicated amps and uses Dolby 5.1 channel audio. This will give you the premium quality audio that's even better than what you'd have in a theater. The speakers also cancel distortion. That's exactly what you'll need if you want to improve the audio on a cheap television. And if you don't want to bother equalizing the sound, the Samsung Sound Plus has a smart sound mode to provide that perfect pitch. It can also connect to your phone, computer, or TV with either a Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connection. Better yet, you can even control the soundbar with your Alexa or with the remote that comes with the speaker. The speaker also has a micro USB, HDMI, and an optical port. Best of all, you can charge the device with the same cable you use to power your TV. With the addition of a built-in subwoofer, you'll be able to experience both music and content better than ever before. Fourth on our list is Vizio SB3621N-F8M, our choice for the best soundbar under $200. Although Vizio may not be as famous as some other brands, they offer excellent soundbar systems. While they do have a 5.1 channel system, we're going to be talking about their 2.1 channel system in order to show you what's available in the under $200 price range, so let's get right into it. This soundbar is 36 inches wide, 2 inches tall, and 3 inches deep, so slightly smaller than the previous device. It's also substantially lighter, at only 4.6 pounds, although that's both a good and a bad thing. Still, some of that weight is off because the soundbar comes with a 5.4 inch wireless subwoofer, a small device that only projects bass frequencies. Just set it on the floor in front of the TV and feel the ground shake underneath you. According to the manufacturer, the 2.1 channel speaker provides excellent audio with minimal distortion. What else can you expect from a device that makes use of Dolby Audio Technologies? But in addition to the wide surface the bars usually cover, the DTS Virtual X feature will also add overhead sounds to the mix. As always, you'll be able to control the soundbar from your phone, tablet, or laptop via Bluetooth. But there are also some basic control buttons on the device itself if you need them. Like the previous device, this one can be kept on a table or mounted on a wall. Aside from the wall mounts, it also comes with optical and digital cables, as well as power cords for the bar and the subwoofer. Third on our list is LG SK10Y. LG is another huge brand that took a crack at the soundbar market, so let's check out the feature-packed SK10Y soundbar. Is it really worth the $700 price tag? First of all, this soundbar is truly huge, measuring 57.7 inches wide, 2.4 inches tall, and 5.8 inches deep. Because of its size, the manufacturer recommends using it with 55-inch or larger televisions. The soundbar also weighs 16.5 pounds, but don't worry, you'll still be able to mount it on a wall. Like the previous product we've reviewed, this one comes with a separate 15.4-inch subwoofer which actually weighs about the same as the soundbar. The bar itself is a 5.1.2 channel device, 
and it uses Dolby Atmos and Meridian audio technology. As an aside, those numbers represent the number of traditional speakers, subwoofers, and upward-facing speakers. So this soundbar has seven speakers built in and a subwoofer. It also has five sound modes, one of which is adaptive sound control, a feature that will automatically choose between the four other sound modes for you. You can also control the soundbar with an app, over Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, or with a remote that comes with the speaker. However, it also seems to be compatible with some TV remotes. On top of that, the soundbar does come with built-in Chromecast, so you'll be able to play music directly from Pandora or Google Play Music. Additionally, the device works well with Google Assistant. The device also has several HDMI, auxiliary, USB ports, as well as an optical input. So as you can see, this soundbar is more than worth the steeper price point. If you're interested in updated pricing or going more in-depth on some features of any of the items mentioned in this video, be sure to check out the links below. And if you're interested in staying up to date with the best products on the market, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Second on our list is Yamaha YAS-207BL, our choice for the best soundbar under $300. Most people know Yamaha for their motorcycles, but they've also been dominating the audio market for years now. So let's head back into the under $300 price category to check out what this hugely admired brand has to offer. At 36.6 inches wide, 2.3 inches tall, and 4.25 inches deep, this soundbar is certainly smaller than some of the other ones we've seen. Like some of the previous devices, though, it does come with a separate subwoofer that's more than 17 inches tall. While the soundbar only weighs about 6 pounds, the subwoofer is actually closer to 17. As always, the big advantage of devices with separate subwoofers is that you'll be able to put it on the floor and feel it tremble in your bones. The sound system relies on Dolby Audio Technology and the DTS Virtual X Surround Sound. Moreover, the surround sound has five modes for various content such as music, TV shows, movies, sports, or gaming. As usual, you can control the device with Bluetooth, or the remote that comes with the soundbar. However, Yamaha also provided a free app that is compatible with both Apple and Android devices. Although the soundbar comes with an optical cable for a single cable connection to the TV, it also has HDMI input and output ports, as well as an analog audio port. Using the HDMI ports would certainly result in a better audio quality, although you'd have to buy the HDMI cables yourself. Still, all of these features add up to a premium quality device, despite its relatively low cost. Number one on our list is Sonos Playbar TV, our choice for the best overall soundbar. The final soundbar we're going to review is the Sonos Playbar, which is at the very high end of the category. In fact, it can cost anywhere between $600 and $1,650, depending on the features you choose. So let's see how the manufacturer justifies the price. To begin with, the play bar is 35 inches wide, 5.5 inches tall, and 3.35 inches deep. It also weighs in at almost 12 pounds, making it neither the heaviest nor the lightest device we've seen. It does come with a wall mount that can support that weight, although it's about $60 on top of the cost of the sound bar. Inside of the bar, there are 9 digital amplifiers. That is, there are 3 tweeters and 6 midwoofers that cover the high and the mid to low range of frequencies. The bass, treble, and volume are all adjustable. While the product does not have Bluetooth connectivity, you're really better off with its Wi-Fi feature. It will allow you to connect the device to a phone, laptop, or a TV that is linked to an Amazon Echo or Alexa and control it that way. The play bar is easily connected to the TV with two cords, a power cable and an optical audio cable. Aside from those two ports, there are also two more Ethernet ports on the device. Although the play bar is splendid on its own, the manufacturer recommends buying two Play 1 speakers and one subwoofer to go along with it. That kind of setup should give you a true 5.1 channel surround sound experience, although it would cost about $1,700 in total. On its own, the play bar costs about $900 on the official site. However, you can get it for $600 if you know where to look. Alright guys, that is all for this video. Hope you guys liked the video. If you guys did, please go ahead and give it a like. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, consider subscribing. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best products on the market right now, so if you want to know what the best gear out there is, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope everyone has a great day, and until next time, I will see you guys later.